those scoring opportunities, limiting those boundary hits. Just dancing around a bit too much. But that was a variation of what up there by Ronsford B. That's why I think he, he's learned fast and has, he continues to learn quickly. Took pace off it. You can see his fingers coming down the outside of the ball. And that's why it's gone through on the third bounce to the keeper. Another thing and a miss. Really hard for Schillingford. Schillingford is not the worst striker of the ball. What's happening here is that he's going across the line. Sure, he may have had to hold his shot a little bit delayed, I should say, because of pace take off it. Now there's a change in the field because of that. The fine leg is going back, mid-off coming up. This beaten pull is length back here now. Strike three. It should be out, but it's cricket, not baseball. And he's swinging for everything, but not really keeping that head still, as we spoke about in another context. As a bowler, we saw Vish analyzing it earlier, looking at two Jamaican bowlers, Santoki and Cottrell. For batsmen, it's the same principle. Just the single. going to be extremely difficult to see the Windward Islands defending whatever is left, even if they have a really gargantuan final over. Guyana will feel that they've done the work in the field. Just another single, only three runs off the 19th over, 104 for seven. Runs are beaten, 2 for 25. Yeah, good stuff from Runs for Beaten. He should always, I think, be, well, mostly be in this kind of sport. Particularly given his age, you want him to grow, you want him to learn. And the more experience he gets will be the better for Ghana across T20s, but also across the longer versions of the game. And I really do hope that there is someone in Ghana capable of continuing the work that has been started with him at the very foundational levels. Are we seeing the emergence of one talent? Are we seeing the re-emergence of another? In the Vindrabishu. He's really bowled well in this match. He's bowled well generally in this tournament. That reverse sweep brought him a couple of boundaries last night against Barbados. This is a different situation. And I think you're seeing the confidence coming back to Devendra Bishop, which had disappeared after a while on the international scene. It's about believing you can do whatever you want to do. That you can bowl it just the way you want it. You can attack the batsman. And he's going right through him and through the keeper. Yeah, Bishop can't believe it. But there's nothing that Christian could do behind the stumps. It's probably exactly as he would want to deliver it. Maybe just a touch straighter, to be honest. That's given run, so I assume it's come off the bottom of the bat. Got to get something of every delivery in this final over. And then steal themselves to believe that they can defend it. With this port of Spain and the slower and lower pitches, you back yourself. Because we saw that over and over again. This is a different situation, different surface. Look at 
looking to push for two. Leon Johnson with the return. And Shillingford struggling to the non-strikers end of making it home. Johnson with the effort that ran out. Kenny Lesperis. Another reverse feed, and he's got it well this time. Something that we'll have to cheer about in the final over. The difference with this one as opposed to his attempt earlier was that there was a little bit of pace and this one was full. So he used the extra bit of pace as Bishu trying to fire it up into his feet. It's a clever shot. Last ball of the innings coming up. 12 runs of the over so far. Just the single, but 13 runs of the over. Is it enough? Is it enough? 117 for seven. The body language of the Windwards doesn't suggest that they believe it is. But whatever it is, they've got to defend it. Guyana have to get 118 to win. The first half of Ghana's job has been very well done. Excellent bowling, much more energy in the field tonight than what was apparent yesterday. Bishu was good, Beaton was good, Barnwell good. One or two bloopers in the field, but all in all, they'll be happy with the first half of their performance. But there is scoreboard pressure now. 117, it's not a big total, but it's scoreboard pressure. Again, that top order of the Windward Islands. Persistent problems throughout the competition. And again, they went to Lesporis. And then a little bit from Sammy. And then Sebastian Schillingford at the end. Six bowlers used. All did a decent job. Crandon, just two overs for 14 runs. But Bishu, Beaton and Jacobs, two wickets apiece. You know, the most economical of them, Steve Jacobs. Two catches as well. He's had a, a really good match so far. But it's only the halfway point. And still, even with Guyana needing 118 at less than a run a ball, there's 20 overs of cricket that could go either way. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs>